More than 100 future CDL drivers have joined the wait list for Columbus Technical College's new program, training set to begin by the end of November. Ground was broken on the project just over six months ago. WRBL's Hannah James joins us now with an update. Phil, Teresa, the demand for CDL drivers is growing, especially right here in Columbus. When this program was announced, Columbus and the nation was in the midst of a years-long CDL driver shortage. Now the finishing details are underway, and this program looking to train 350 drivers annually. It's just going to be uh, an exciting feeling to be going down the highway and seeing that Columbus Tech student driver coming along. The application for Columbus Technical College's new commercial driver's licensing training program is now live. Ground broke on the new driving range in May of this year. The program only takes two to four weeks to complete and can cost as little as $32 if you are eligible for the Georgia Hope Scholarship. President Martha Ann Todd says this short-term program has long-term benefits with average salaries starting at $65,000. We knew that there was a great need for commercial, uh, commercially licensed truck drivers here in the area. Uh, and over the years, as the port traffic has grown from the Savannah port and the Brunswick port through Georgia to the inland ports, uh, it's become more and more evident that the drivers are needed locally uh, as well as throughout the state and, and elsewhere. All that's keeping drivers from hitting the range now is approval by the Department of Driver Services. Leadership anticipates the program to be up and running by the end of November. It's a great opportunity for people because there are so many CDL jobs available. Um, you can do everything from driving a dump truck or garbage truck to a long haul semi. And several companies are starting people in six figure salaries uh, fresh off uh, a four week training program. The location for the driving range was strategic. Sitting outside the gates of Fort Moore, they hope to attract some of the 2,500 exiting military members, plus the surrounding neighborhood in South Columbus. The adjacent neighborhood is a qualified opportunity zone with poverty levels above 35%. Newly licensed drivers expected to hit the roadways by early 2024. Back to you both. Thank you, Hannah. The new program was made possible by a $1.77 million state grant. The land for the driving range was donated by the Pizzo Family Foundation.